I'm about ready to call a priest and come get rid of you. What the fuck was that? What the hell was... What the... What the fuck was What that? the hell was that? And also be careful around the stairs because it was saying kick and stairs at uh, one point. Yeah. Go figure, right? Uh, please don't kick me down the stairs. Yeah, just be very careful. That's true. <laughs> but I swear I just heard something hissing. The hell was that noise? I don't even know. Coltergeist. Oh. Oh no. Come on. Are you seeing this? What the? F oh, come on. That just said poltergeist and up, guys. Right. That's a knife. That's a freaking knife. Dude, okay. put that knife somewhere. Hide that knife right now. What up home slices, home fries, and homes of other varieties. So upon request, one of y'all wanted me to react to exploring with Angelo. So that is what we will be doing today. And it is one of his most recent videos. We were attacked. We had to run for our lives. And again, I'll put the link up here in the cards and then down below. And always watch the original video before watching my own reaction so you get the full context. Um, so he did two locations in one video. So I only am reacting to the first location, which is like that family home. And I just want to say that I did stop around 26 minutes, so I never finished the entire video. But there is a reason. And that reason is because I was starting to feel the anger from the spirit there at that location and it was starting to kind of affect my own emotions so I was like we done so it has nothing to do with him or me disliking him or his video or anything it's because of the entity or spirit that was harassing the family and communicating with Angelo and his friend and guys this is my first video of his that I've ever partially or even watched so I don't know too much about him and so I'm sorry if I pronounce things wrong I don't know what his friend's name is or his buddy the guy who is also in the video so bear with me here but without further ado we're gonna jump into this and then I will provide my final thoughts so let's roll the clip It just said Frank. Oh shit. That was freaking creepy. How do you know his name? We never said our names on purpose. What do you What do I want? Okay, I'm just gonna close that because I'm afraid I'm gonna see In something. Earth. In Earth. What? Are you from hell? You will be. We will be. What do you mean? Run. Okay, this is getting really weird. I mean, I think it's already gotten pretty terrifying. So it didn't take me long to feel and experience the energy. Honestly, three minutes and four seconds in, I got a really good picture of the thing that is communicating with them and ter terrorizing that family. And uh, so first psychic impressions, I was getting sleepy, sharp achy pain from mid left forearm. So about like right here and I could feel it go up to my knuckles. Um, my eyes were burning. My head felt really fuzzy and disoriented. I was slightly dizzy. 
I was getting chest pain in the heart area and in the same spot, but like on my back. Um, head pain, extreme teeth sensitivity, hip joint pain, jaw pain, and pain behind the ears, which I hate that. I hate that I get that a lot, but it was specific with this jaw pain. So it was a different kind of sensation to what I normally get when I get my migraines. Um, but with that being said, I'm going to guess that the energy that I was feeling was that of someone who had a heart attack or had heart disease or something in that area. Um, interestingly enough too, so just a little background too, when I was doing this and watching the video, I was in my bed, okay? And I was having increased salivation. So it's not like I was eating a snack. Like I was literally laying down and just like watching the video and taking notes. So increased salivation, that was weird. Not something I usually experience. Um, I was seeing a gingerbread man cookie. I don't know what the reference is with that. Like when I see stuff like that, I think the person is older. I usually think it's like a female or feminine energy that like to bake and she's older, like grandma vibes. But here I'm not quite sure. Maybe it means something or has something to do with Angelo, but I don't know anything about him, so I don't know. So you guys, let me know if you know any correlation there. Um, I was also seeing a dog with a smushed in face that's either like the breed of a Frenchie, a pug, or any kind of dog breed like that. And it was gray and small. I was also seeing a Chihuahua's face as well. And the Chihuahua was like this beige color. So I don't know if any of those dogs lived at that house, if Angelo or his buddy has dogs like that, or the owners, the current owners of that house have those types of dogs, not quite sure. But those came in really clear. Down. Kick down? What do you mean? Oh, there's kick? so many random things coming through, but they're too fast. That was the same problem for me. It was a lot. It was very overwhelming. I could tell you're powerful, but you're not as Be powerful bold. as God. You need to leave this house. The next step now is to have this ex house exercised. There's no reason for you to be here. And then I kind of want to throw this clip in here too. I was feeling palpitations that were really painful um, in the heart area. And uh, yeah, I, not a fan. Didn't feel good. It kind of was scary because it's like I don't typically get heart palpitations. Like if I drink too much caffeine, I'll get like chest like pains or um what's the word spasms but never in my heart area so that was not fun um i was seeing a shadow figure in the corner to the right of the bed so where he's sitting and it feels masculine it feels angry um that is really strange whatever is here it clearly wants something i think it wants a sacrifice not gonna happen. I'm sorry, but none of us are <laughs> being sacrificed right. tonight. <laughs> I was even telling it like the next step in the process is to have this house exercised at this point. Um, but I do want to know, like, is there something still here? So it sounded like it kept saying like doorway, stairs. At one point, like I said, we heard something come up the stairs. And uh, I guess we can ask. So around here, I was getting that angry, pissed off male vibe, almost like he was an angry, abusive drunk who detests small children. The energy was giving like boomer vibes in terms of like, I'll give you something to cry about, or children are supposed to be seen, not heard. You know what I mean? Like that older generation kind of vibe. 
It feels as if he may be contributing to some health issues within the family and trying really hard to put messed up thoughts inside some of their heads. Like he's trying to influence one or all of them to hurt the baby. In addition to causing arguments within the home. I get the strong inclination that he detests things that make loud noise, specifically babies. And if this can be validated, whether the owners of the family watch this video or Angelo himself, please let me know. Like, because if there is behavioral influence or emotional influence going on with that family. And I know some of these things are very personal, especially when it comes to like the emotions and thoughts that a person has. But if there's some negative feelings going on here that are not something that the person did really in the past, it's not part of their character and it's something that's just popped out of random, it is serious and this place needs to be cleansed and taken care of immediately before something bad happens. Because this male energy is very unrelenting. Yeah, it can be really bad if this is not taken care of. And at this point, I start feeling like there's multiple spirits there and I think like with the cookie bread, the cookie bread, god dang. I, I can't English. The cookie man gingerbread situation, it's giving older woman too. Like, I feel like there's an older woman and he was smelling like a floral scent too. So, and that floral scent reminds me of old woman perfume. So, yeah, I think there's multiple things going on, but it's weird because it feels like the older male energy was there first. Um, that is really strange. Whatever is here, it clearly wants something. I think it wants a sacrifice. Not gonna happen. I'm sorry, but none of us are <laughs> being sacrificed <laughs> <Right>. tonight. <laughs> I was even telling it, like, the next step in the process is to have this house exercised at this point. Um, but I do want to know, like, is there something still here? So it sounded like it kept saying, like, doorway, stairs. At one point, like I said, we heard something come up the stairs. And, uh, I guess we can ask if it's still here. Or maybe it went somewhere else. Whatever it is, I think it stays in the attic. Yeah, well, I mean, I think that's this like general... A... So, <laughs> when he said maybe it wants a sacrifice or whatever. I laughed so hard. He went from zero to a thousand in like the worst case scenario. No, it doesn't want a sacrifice. It just wants that family to leave and take the baby with them. But it does want to cause harm and to feed off of the negative energy output. But it's, it's not a demon, it's an earthy. And like I said, it doesn't like the family, especially the loud baby. And he does cause poltergeist-like activity. And when I say poltergeist-like, I mean like paranormal activity in terms of things moving around the house, things falling, and things making sounds, and shadow figures. There's definitely shag- shag- oh my god, you guys. <laughs> There's definitely shadow figures that can be seen or that have been seen. Um, I was seeing it and then he pointed it out a few times, but it definitely creeps around the walls and the corners and like kind of like moves with them. And it can be very off-putting. Anything else to say? Encouragement. Do you need more encouragement than what we're doing? Okay. I encourage you to maybe leave the house forever period it's just that the thing that's sticking to me right now is this whole idea of brothers because it came through on the board and it seems to be connecting with a lot of the other don't responses don't be afraid yeah. i'm not afraid i'll throw a knife on at you and see how you feel yeah exactly 
We'll get some throwing knives and take some uh, some shots. Nothing? Why don't you come move a pillow? Come on, let's be a little less aggressive here. We're no threat to you. I mean, just, just pick a pillow, that's cool. Yeah. Well, I guess the next step is we're gonna call a priest. What the f*** was that? What did you see? Because I just had something touch my shoulder. I saw, I swear I saw something like go up. It happened at the exact same time. That was really Again. Certainly. Certainly. Yeah, yeah thanks. Yeah, thanks. Okay, so he admitted to using a Ouija board. <sighs> that explains why I was feeling like the man, his energy felt like it was there first, and then the woman came in. And I do believe that there is a portal. I don't remember if I stated that earlier, but if I didn't, I meant to. Just because the communication between um, him and the guy on the chair doing the Estes method, um, it did sound like there was a bunch of people trying to talk over one another. So yeah, it's like they're jumping over each other to get that opportunity to communicate. But then you hear in the background that they're kind of like talking to one another and not just Angelo and the other guy. And, uh, yeah, if, okay, if you're somebody that is trying to help a family that's having paranormal activity, do not, do not use a Ouija board in the same location because not only are you going to make it worse, but you're going to piss off the entities or spirits that are already there because now they have to compete for energy in that space. And also, if the original spirits in that location were more on the neutral end and they weren't really so malevolent, you can bring in bad things that can also affect the safety of those spirits. Not just the living in that space, but the spirits. And so that pissed him off really bad. Like that... He wanted Angelo and his buddy to leave so bad. He was just like... You're making things worse. I was in control of the situation and I was having fun and messing with these people and feeding off of them. And now it's like there's all these other spirits in the way and now they're going to compete for energy and they're just going to get in my way. And especially if you have the old woman there who's trying to kind of, I don't want to say protect, but she's being more of a buffer in the situation between that male energy and the people there. Um, and by the people, I mean Angelo and his buddy. So, yeah, you didn't help. You made things worse. You need to get rid of the board and you need to cleanse the space and close the portal. Otherwise, if you don't close the portal, it ain't gonna make much of a difference because all the stuff will just come back after a certain amount of time. So, yeah, don't use a Ouija board, please. And again, so 26 minutes in, I was feeling the anger of that male energy, and I'm like, nope, not doing this anymore, and I had to turn it off. So I'm going to provide my final thoughts. I think originally most of the activity was done by one male earthy with anger issues, it feels as though he was an angry person who liked to drink and was abusive and died from heart problems based off of the things I was picking up and kind of like putting them into symptoms to see like the health issues that could contribute to them. So that's why I'm going with heart issues. Um, I feel like the baby was somewhat a catalyst in terms of the severity of the paranormal activity, making it worse when the baby arrived. I don't think the man likes the baby one bit and wants it and the family to leave. The man is giving I'll give you something to cry about vibes when the baby cries. And now there's portal in space. And uh, yeah. At one point I did see the older woman come through right before they mentioned the floral smell and it's that old lady perfume. 
And once those spirits realized they could communicate through the spirit box, they were pushing each other to get a chance to talk. And the energy upstairs in the bedroom felt thick with anger undertones, but then it switches to something lighter and less angry when they switch rooms. For successful cleansing, they need to get rid of the board, close the portals, and try to cross over as many earthies that are willing. And for those who refuse to cross over, that's when you gotta kick them out. And if you need cleansing tips, you can watch my video that I will put up here, you can click on, and that's me demonstrating how I do my house cleansings. But if Angelo does see this video, or even the family that lives in that space, um, and they are serious about getting a proper cleansing, please hit me up, whether that's on the comments down below, uh, my socials, Instagram, I do a lot of communicating with people in the DMs, so DM me, please. I will be happy to help you. Um, yeah, because I do not like the fact that you have that really angry energy and you have a baby that's defenseless and the amount he is pushing his anger onto the living and trying to get them to do bad things. That's not good. That's how people end up uh, their entire family or hurting themselves. And if a person spends enough of their time in that energy without the proper cleansing and protection, it can affect you. Again, emotionally, mentally, physically. Okay, so again, it's important to take care of the situation and don't try to communicate with the spirits there. When you start communicating, whether you use a board or not, you're building a line between you and the spirit or entity and that line is permission for it to continue to stay and or attach and they have to be careful because this can become an attachment. So yes, I highly recommend cleansing the space and even getting Reiki sessions after you cleanse the space because that residual energy still affects the body and you don't want any of that lingering behind. So I am going to conclude it there, you guys. I hope you like this video, but uh, a quick little, um, and note here, I have new merch. It should be linked under my videos now. If it's not, I don't know what the heck, but if you go onto my channel page, you can go into shopping and it has a bunch of new designs. And yes, so check that out. The profits will help me with future content, with um, future projects and business fees, cause let's be real, having your own business ain't free. You gotta pay for the website and you gotta pay taxes and it's a pain in the butt. And so merch purchases or even my services will help me be able to continue this. And uh, yeah, so again guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys soon. Peace.